Day two and the military rescue team continued digging through the rubble, but by end of day, no survivor had been found. The operation, according to the rescue team, however, cannot be any faster. We can only attack the building from one end, that is from the front end. And also the nature of the collapse was that all the floors fell on each other like a pack of cards, you know. So there's very little space between the, the floors. And therefore it's very difficult to work from the top downwards. Actually we're working from the side inwards. What troubles the rescue team more is that the distress calls seem to have faded away. At Jeskia Tangu Jana, to pick up a Lembe Kulukwana Sauti, or Catalifica, that took what to Meskia Sauti Sueno, and Lembe Kulukwana Sauti, Mama Moja, and the Kwaki Yonga Kulechin, and he happened actually to Kanja to Kajarebu Kukata, Paka Kulechin, and Tijafika Kule, the Kini Kwanzia, Sanane, Ivijana to Jeskia Sauti. Until now, two people have been confirmed dead. The six-story building in Pipelines and Bakasi Estate came tumbling down while still under construction Wednesday. Some of the construction workers dodged death narrowly. When you kujenga, you don't find a makosa, and less of a twitch, clear quatu, Kosabo had Turkey. Highly and by when a Kenya attended a kufa, our kumia. We can conclude and say there are 14 unaccounted for. So far, only eight people have been rescued from the debris with severe injuries and taken to Kenyatta National Hospital for treatment. Sylvia Chibet, Citizen Live at 9, Nairobi.